briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1961, a case known as United States v. Rogers came before the United States Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit. The focus of the case was to determine whether taking another's goods without permission and with intent to convert them to one's own use constitutes larceny. The court also had to ensure that the jury was not coerced and was instructed to decide the case based on their own reasoned opinions without feeling compelled to abandon them. The defendant had been convicted of bank robbery after cashing a payroll check for his brother and inadvertently receiving $1,126.59 instead of $17.92 from an inexperienced teller. The defendant denied receiving the excess cash, but was found guilty after the court instructed the jury that he would be convicted if he had intended to take the overpayment or had already done so. When the jury failed to reach a verdict after several hours of deliberation, the court gave them a one-sided instruction, leading the defendant to appeal the verdict. He argued that the evidence did not prove larceny, and that the verdict could have been coerced. The appeals court upheld the conviction but ordered a new trial with corrected instructions, citing incorrect larceny instruction and possible jury coercion. For the retrial, the court required specific instructions on the defendant's knowledge and intent, as well as ensuring jurors were not compelled to abandon their conscientiously held opinions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lsd.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class